I've been always drawing when I was little and then eventually I had to choose a study and then I actually chose for graphic design. I always felt like in the Chinese culture being into arts and stuff wasn't really paying off and it doesn't bring the status that everybody wants you to. After a few years into working into agencies or corporate businesses, I found out like, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't really feel happy at all. The thing was actually that I started drawing and putting it online and then somebody was like, yeah, do you actually sell this? And I was like, oh, so you can actually sell these. And that's why, yeah, that's how it all started actually, like three years ago now. I portrayed myself like I normally do mm -hmm. and me underneath is like the modern kind of self and the other one above is like my ancestors that give me strength to move on and never to forget what have what has happened to bring me here. I really think that me as an artist or illustrator I have like the responsibility to bring some messages across. It's really therapeutic for myself. When I started drawing, it was dark colors that I used as well because I had so much more to process in that time because I actually went to therapy a long while ago. I felt like, okay, I have so many things that I still have to process. I've been in an abusive relationship. I've been through so many things that I haven't really processed yet. And I felt like drawing it felt more as a process to heal myself. I think the biggest part that I really found out is that when I started drawing, I was always like drawing women in a, in a certain way. So they always had a white skin, they were always like size 32, like big boobs, big butt. And then eventually I started thinking, hey, that is kind of weird. I don't even know how to portray um, myself as a Chinese woman or black women. I also didn't know how to draw. And I was like, whoa, that is so confronting. A lot of people who go to art schools as well are going through this process of what beauty is. And I was like, okay, I, I have to educate myself how to do this. So I just started drawing like bigger sizes and, you know, kind of different cultures, ethnicities. I think that's the biggest confrontation that I had during this process. I think it was self-hate maybe or internalized, yeah, racism against myself. Everybody is born with a kind of creativity and it really depends on if you train it enough. Not wait for it, but just go for it yourself. It's really hard actually. You have to stand very like in your own power saying, okay, well this is my spot and I earned to be here and you know, I'm worth it. Ten years from now, I will hopefully have my own family, so I really want to have kids one day. I also really want to be exposing, maybe have an exhibition in, in China then, of course, because I think it would be so great if I would be acknowledged by my own people. I will just continue what I'm doing and hopefully get more recognition and being seen by more people and eventually targeting uh, a lot of Asian women as well. I want to make them feel more empowered by their sexuality, that they can come forward because Chinese women are always being put on, being innocent and, you know, not speaking up about things a lot. So I just want to make sure that they feel empowered. Yes.